Richard, thanks. Well, 637 now. We've got another tech update on artificial intelligence this morning. Happy Friday, guys. We made it through the week. Just a few days ago, right here on WCNC Charlotte, we were talking about some of the first rules on AI. But those rules had come out of the European Union. Well, today the update is closer to home. We've got three things you want to know today. First, the United Nations just adopted a resolution that backs efforts to make sure artificial intelligence is safe. Now, it's important to note this resolution isn't a list of official rules. It's more like a public agreement between 200 nations, including China. They're all committing to protect people from the tech as it quickly develops. Now, moving on to two, we're headed to the Capitol now. A new bipartisan bill would require online identification and labeling of AI-generated videos and audio. So it's to address what's called deep fakes. Those are those videos that are so convincing, it's almost impossible to identify that they're not even real. Key provisions in this legislation would require AI developers to identify their content. And then three, this is a state level law now. So Tennessee just became the first state to protect musicians and other artists against AI. The law means that people can be held liable if they publish or perform an individual's voice without their permission. They can also face penalties for using technology to produce an artist's name, artist's photographs, their voice, even their likeness, of course, without that proper authorization. Now, this is a lot of information, and covering developments on the new technology can get pretty complicated. But this morning, we want to know, what rules do you want to see on AI? Now, maybe the things we just covered are enough, but maybe there's something that we need more. Of course, we want to hear from you. Make sure you text us at 704-329-3600.